Okay, so everything you need to know about the target is in here. So what's the job? Murder. Okay, the, oh, that's the big one. That's the big M. Oscar! Oscar! Oscar, good! Listen, hey, come with me. What? Come, come with me. What are you doing? There are a bunch of construction workers in the warehouse I'm without working. their trousers drinking diet sodas. You have got to see this. Oh, they're extraordinary. Yes. Sandwich delivery for Mr. Oscar Martinez. I am Oscar Martinez. No, not him, not him. Outside. Outside. Whoa. You know there's donuts in the break room. Nice. Why can't I just be nice? Uh, truth is, I really like you guys. I really do. Okay, the apology is just half of it. The big thing is making amends, and that's why I brought these. I went out to the Steamtown Mall, and I got you all cupcakes from that place, Nipples. I think it's called Nibbles. Ha! Huh. The mind sees what it wants to, huh? I am going through a 12-step program. I'm currently on step zero, which is have a load of fun. I spent six hours carefully removing the frosting and then layering in a variety of drugs, some legal, some not, some laxative, some constipating. You don't fire the Pac-Man and expect to get away with it. Guys, I'm proud of us. I think we did the right thing. Hey! What, Pam? Wait! He's gone. It's just a cupcake now. No, no, it's the principle of the thing. Oh my god. I forgive him so much. Good morning, Aaron. Hey. Hey, everybody. Um, I decided to eat my cupcake. I thought about it last night. I talked to Jim, I talked to my sister, and I think that as long as Todd Packer doesn't know, it's okay. I don't care what you do, Pam. Just please stop making noise. Phyllis. Packer laced the cupcakes. No! Did you get diarrhea or were you stoned? Some of us got both. Oh my God, is everyone okay? Last night I got out all of my old dolls and played with them on the living room floor. Then I ordered 10 American Girl outfits online. It was thousands of dollars. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna suck it up. Here we go. And we're gonna go to dinner. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the movies. Sounds good. Hey, helper! Hey. Where is Creed? Creed? Here. Quality assurance. Your job. I really think you screwed the pooch on this one, Creed. Because of you, the entire company is in jeopardy. Every week I'm supposed to take four hours and do a quality spot check at the paper mill. And of course, the one year I blow it off, this happens. Yes, hello. Creed Braddon, Quality Assurance, Dunder Mifflin Scranton. I was supposed to meet with one of your floor managers last week for a quality inspection, and he or she wasn't there. And I'm trying to remember who it was. Mm -hmm. Who wasn't there last week? Debbie Brown. And which day was that? Wednesday the 11th. Perfect. When I went over Wednesday for the spot check, I got a call from Debbie Brown saying she has an emergency dentist appointment. Emergency dentist appointment. Now I'm told she told her manager she had the flu. I'm a trusting guy, but uh, I just wish Debbie Brown had been there. We had caught this. Got a farewell card for Debbie Brown. I thought maybe you'd like to sign it. Maybe throw a couple of bucks in there for her. She's got some children. I feel terrible about Debbie Brown. She got fired because of Dwight. So I thought I'd pass around a goodbye card. Maybe everyone could put in a couple of bucks to help her through these difficult times. Why do bad things always happen to the good people? It's tragic. It's just tragic. Hello? Hi, Jim. It's Helene. Hey, Helene. Is everything okay? Uh, everything's fine. 
baby's fine. She has a tiny fever. I'm taking her for a checkup. Nothing to worry about. Uh, okay. A tiny thing. I locked her in the car. What? Oh, she's oh. smiling. She's happy. Oh my god. But Jim, I, oh I don't god. have a spare key. Just, just stay there. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be there in one second. Michael. Michael. Excuse me, sir. There's a there's a guy in the bathroom. He's coming out, but I have to go because it's an emergency. Will you just tell him to call the office? Just call, call the office. Thank you. Please. Hello? No, oh, I left Michael at the gas station on Bennett. Understood. And his wallet and phone are in the seat next to me. Got it. Okay. Today, smoking is going to save lives. <laughs> Attention! Employees of Dunder Mifflin! This has been a test of our emergency preparedness. There is no fire, it was only a simulation. What? Fire. Not real, this was merely a training exercise. So, what have we learned? Oh, come on, it's not real, oh Stanley. Don't Stanley. have a heart attack. No, 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 no. You will not die. Stanley, Stanley, you will not die. Stanley, Stanley, Barack is president. You are black, Stanley. Hey, Dwight. Stanley, one way or another, you are gonna come with me to make this sale. Pass. Hey, can, can you just let me out of here before whatever comes next? Don't worry, it's just a bull tranquilizer. Nothing to be alarmed about. It's just a man pointing a bull tranquilizer at a coworker. Dwight, you do not learn, do you? For a threat to be credible, you have. Holy sh No, you didn't. I'm sick of you and your. Use your hands and just blunt his descent. Okay, he's gonna be moving slowly. It's only blunt? it's 15 feet down, it's at a 45 degree angle. Get set in your haunches. It's like you're catching a medicine. The size of my haunches. Okay. Good call. He would have put a hole in your chest, same as he put a hole in that wall. Excuse me, sir. How do you know the happy couple? Who? The bride and groom. What are their names? Oh, I, I don't, uh, I'm not oh, sure. I get it, I get it. Come on, freeloader, let's move it. Oh, come on, oh, come on. Okay, okay, where are we going? You gotta find <laughs> yourself another wedding to crash, my friend. Oh. Everyone, attention please. Uh, I'm supposed to ask if anyone has seen Uncle Al. He is old and has brown eyes and dementia. His family is very concerned. It's a very serious situation. Go tell somebody. What, Andy? Andy, what should I tell them? Don't tell them we're floating away, obviously. I don't understand what you want from me. Angela, it's pretty simple. Look at what I'm doing and go tell somebody it. Sorry. Uh, bye, Andy. Angela! I knew that finding a successor would be difficult. I did not know that it would be impossible. Thus far, the candidates have been wildly disappointing. Uh, Jim is not taking it seriously. Uh, Stanley is having a stroke. And Andy, where is he? Where the hell is Andy? Where is he, Pam? Do you know? Oh. I made a mistake. Sorry, I'm late, boss. What's going on? 
Sir, there has been a murder, and you are a suspect. Okay. Hang on just a sec. Let me settle in, and I'll be right back. Very good. Very good. Now, no one was there in the wine cellar. I didn't realize that everybody here dresses up every year. Me neither. It's Halloween. That is really, really good timing. 